we've had up to 30% failure of a, of a particular collection. And that's been within uh, three years time. Right now, I'm not aware of anything that can be used to archive digital information, truly archive it, something that will last 50 to 100 years. It, it, it matters because records matter, because history matters, because it matters, it matters that we have a legacy for posterity. Nine out of 10 would believe that their pictures on their CD or their DVD are going to last for a long time. They're going to last for decades, decades and decades. And uh, uh, they would be shocked and probably maybe not even believe you if you said, oh, that's three to ten years. Maybe. <laughs> if we solve a problem that is worldwide, that's, to me, that's a deeper meaning. We give mankind the ability to store information in a way that won't degrade for many, many hundreds of years. There will be a catastrophic failure in cloud computing in the future. There's no question in my mind that'll happen. And to watch more and more consumers go to cloud computing to back things up, to watch the netbook technology and everything else, scares me to death. Today we're putting CDs and DVDs in a box and putting them in the same place. In 12 years, 95% of them will be blank. So we've got to save those things in the next five years if they're going to last forever. They know of no solution. They knew of no one who was working on it. And uh, they've stated very strongly that this is critical. It's very important. And that's when we got serious. And right now, in the digital uh, marketplace, there is very literally no stable media. Yeah, the real proof is that our discs, when we compare them to the very best discs we've been able to find out there, last much, much longer. It's mind-boggling how this changes things and uh, allows us to preserve records uh, for a millennium. Well, in 1996, I had an opportunity to hear about some petroglyphs in uh, Nine Mile Canyon out of Price, Utah. So we came up here for an overnight camp out, walked along these cliffs, saw lots of these petroglyphs, really enjoyed it. I noticed something that I hadn't understood before, and that is that the petroglyphs were not made by any kind of painting process, but rather by chipping away the outer layer of rock, which is dark, and exposing the lighter layer underneath. So that was the... Uh, when I first came up with the idea of optical contrast, but I didn't even do anything with it. So I, I had the opportunity to be doing some research with Matt Lenford, and we decided to go from the research we were doing into optical disk storage and find a way to make disks that would store data permanently. This, going back to this, is what made me realize that it wasn't a materials problem. There were materials that would last a long time. It was just an engineering problem. We could make a disk that would last a long time, targeting the thousand years. Um, then we were able to find Doug and an associate of his, and um, we, uh, we started a company soon after that. Um, Henry was introduced 